What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Superman and Lois. It's actually a good show. I know. Yes, Superman Lo and Lois is on the CW. Uh, you know, obviously, this version of Superman, sort of Tyler Hoechlin, was introduced in the Supergirl series, and he was in some of the CW crossovers. Playing Superman, but not really the same Superman as they made clear in the first season of Superman and Lois. It is actually a good Superman series. It's one of the better adaptations of him in live action. S certainly, uh, we get to see him married with kids. He's a good father. He's not dominated by his wife. They have a good, healthy relationship, and he's a good father. I, what, what more do you want in modern times, actually? modern. The only modern-day thing I would want from Superman right now in this form is what we're getting, at least in Superman and Lois and the season four coming out. Unfortunately, premiere is going to be a little bit later, but apparently... This meal is going to be worth the extra cook time. So we got here from comicbookmovie.com. When DC Studios was formed, uh, formed, it's fair to say that most fans expected Superman and Lois to quickly go on the same way as the DCEU and Arrowverse. Yeah, thought for sure it was going to be the first thing canceled. Instead, the series has been given a stay of execution and will indeed get a fourth and final season. I, I would also point out it always felt like a max show it never really felt like a cw show it always had better acting it always had better uh production values and while yes it still comes from the cw so it still has healthy amounts of inner teen drama and family drama it's still a superman show he is still the lead of the show and there's still some great action moments if you were just fast forwarding and watching it for the superman parts uh today the network hyped up its springtime schedule but there's no mention of the dc comics adaptation since then tv line has confirmed the plan is for the superman and lois to return in the fall brad schwartz president of entertainment for the cw promises season four is going to blow your minds and explains the uh, delay as a result of the show's lengthy post-production process because cg and the cgi actually looks good it left on a cliffhanger of uh superman fighting it's bizarro but bizarro sort of mutated into a, a to a uh doomsday type uh you know or De doomsday or devastator type uh weapon by lex luther so and yeah, they're fighting on the moon and they go out oh, right as they're about to connect it 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 went to the cliffhanger so i'm not kidding this is what schwartz is saying i'm not kidding the season is going to be one of the best shows on tv uh, i watched the first episode last night and it's gonna make you cry it's amazing I, the show has some moments which might make you cry if you are fans of the characters uh because of all the special effects it could be ready for summer but we feel like it would be wasted in the summer so let's put it in the fall where we can sell it in the upfront and really really talk about it while <clears throat> superman and lois will return with a smaller cast right and they did replace the uh one of the kent boys uh because the actor just was like yeah I i'm not feeling this hollywood and he bounced understand that probably saved himself a lot of mental health decline later on the replacement guy's fine. He just, it didn't have the same edge, the same uh, gravitas as the original. Uh, last year, Superman and Lois executive producers and co-showrunners uh, said this about the show's ending. While we're sad to say goodbye to Superman and Lois at the end of season four, we're grateful for the time we've had with our amazing cast. And he says goodbye to everyone. Uh, since the day this show was first discussed, it was about family. And that's what we created on and off screen. And he's thanking everyone. Yeah. The biggest uh, success of the show is it is about the Kent family and it is a good family. Uh, you would be lucky to have this type of a father that Superman is. And that's shout out to Tyler Hoechlin and uh, Mary Tulick, whatever the guy that plays Superman and Lois, they are, they play really good parents. Uh, they have chemistry together and you would be so lucky to have, uh, like I said, uh, he plays a really good Clark Kent, really good Superman. When James Gunn came in, I totally thought they were going to cancel it right there, but instead they gave them their goodbye. They're getting their season four. We just got to wait a little bit longer. If you haven't watched it, I, it gets a badger recommends at least the first three seasons. I make no claim to quality of the fourth one, but if you watch the first three, you're probably going to want to finish it. Check it out. Check it out. If you if the first episode doesn't sell you on it, well, then you won't want to watch the rest. But I, I think the first episode, it's on Max right now. Go ahead and watch it. Let me know what you think. Make sure to like, share, sub. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, bye.